Serial device servers are now indispensable for connecting serial devices with Ethernet networks. But the requirements have grown and changed over the past 10 years as you know, applications have become more complex or new technologies have emerged to replace existing standards. Today, let's take a closer look at how serial device server technology and requirements has changed in the past decade. This is Moxa's DE311. It's one of our earlier products released in 2000, and it's a good example of the kind of requirements that faced serial device servers at that time. It's a very basic serial device server. It has a DB9 serial port, so it can be attached directly to a serial device. And you can configure RS-232, 422, and 45 serial communications directly in hardware with these DIP switches. Further configuration is done using a Telnet console, serial console, or Windows utility. Now, over time, industrial automation networks began to rely more and more on IP-based technology. This is mPorts 5150 which is a good example of some of the new functionality that industrial networks were beginning to require in 2004. The 5150 has the added convenience of web-based configuration and supports more operation modes and newer protocols such as SNMP. As industrial automation networks became more integrated with industrial Ethernet, you begin to see Ethernet devices that are purpose-built for use in an industrial setting. For example, the import IA5150, released in 2006. It has many features that are built specifically for industrial use, including redundant power input, two Ethernet ports or cascade wiring. It has a vertical, narrow, very compact space-saving form factor, so it can be stacked side by side. And it's DIN rail mountable. As industrial automation networks grow more sophisticated, there's also a growing awareness among operators that their industrial networks, just like enterprise networks, face cybersecurity threats and challenges. The import 6150 from 2006 was born of these concerns. It's a more sophisticated serial device server that includes lots of security features built in, including support for security protocols such as SSH and SSL right on the device server level. Now, the most recent trend in industrial automation has been to create more green systems, more environmentally friendly systems that are also more reliable. Now, for a serial device server, a green device server is one that consumes very little power, which means it can run entirely on just solar power or battery power. This is a very tangible advantage because that means you've suddenly reduced the monetary and the environmental costs of running your operation. A new priority for device servers has also been surge protection, and this is because lots of operators have noticed that uh, the majority of their device server failures can actually be attributed to power surges. The MOXA mPort 5150A and the mPort IA5150A both consume very little power and have complete surge protection on the serial, Ethernet, and power lines. Both the 5150A and IA5150A also have a very powerful yet easy to use web console that helps you manage all of the new features, functions, and protocols that device servers have accumulated over the past 10 years. There you have it. As you can see, serial device servers have changed over the past decade, and these are changes that have been reflected in Moxa's product line. Every product you see here, from the 10-year-old DE311 to the very latest import IA5150A, is still available for order from Moxa and receives complete support from our global network of certified distributors and customer service personnel. You can check for specs on the website, and thanks for watching.